finish all right closer. so i am uh well, he's going to be on the phone to that trainer or at the barn the very next morning to see if he can get tyler on that horse that he feels should have run a lot better than he just did so it's a it's a complex set of circumstances that the agents have to deal with but as we just did it's pretty simply explained it's pretty simply understood i'm heading over to toasting master Faustino. we made it this is Toasting Master. He's working five eights this morning, and we're at the re we're at the wire here at, uh, at Gulfstream Park. The reason that we were waiting is that uh, Dale Romans and uh, Terry Finley were yeah, we don't even wear a mask. about ready to, to do their their typical back and forth brothers spatting thing this morning. There's actually a Tammy working one of uh, Dale's horses as she finishes up the wire. But there goes Toasting Master, so we're just going to stay with this and just catch him at the top of the stretch all the way to the wire here and figure out uh, what uh, pearls of wisdom Dale may have after the fact. There he goes. And we'll, uh, we'll just kind of hang tough here. Oh, wow. Over there, Dale has, uh, has been asked by the Thoroughbred Owners uh, Conference here to come over and give some pearls of wisdom. I hope he actually watches. You think, you think he'll actually watch the horse work? <laughs> I think he will, yeah. He's right there at the rail. And I'll pick up Toasting Master, who is now red helmet he's just in the middle of the turn over there by the the white temporary barns that will be there for the phasic tipton sale later on this spring actually beginning of march march the second is the sale date for that but i see toasting master now uh, across the way Passing the three-quarter pull. He's going five-eighths of a mile this morning. Terry, I think I've caught him up. Is, he, is that him just popping out here in a second with the red helmet? Hold on a sec. Behind the... No, that's not Faustino. That's Faustino. Got him. Right there. You see the red helmet straight across from us? Okay, so that's... Toasting Master beginning his five eighths of a mile work here in a second. Now, if it's typical Romans uh, breeze protocol, he's going to go a half and then gallop out the, the eighth afterwards. You can hear in the background that's actually Chris McCarron, Hall of Famer Chris McCarron jockey, who's giving a, a little bit of a tutorial to the um, the owners group, the new owners group. And there in the middle of the turn is uh, Toasting Master. A little bit on cruise control here as he uh, comes to the top of the stretch. And just hitting the quarter pole now and about ready to do the eight pole and we're coming to the wire here. extra eighth of a mile. See what you get with this horse. He's very, very consistent. Let me go ask Dale what he thought immediately before he talked. Not the right there. So yeah, that's part Thumbs of my up, job right? too is a buffer. The funniest thing is an agent. So you're live on Periscope here. Uh, Periscope, I hope everyone got to see what no, I just saw. The horse is moving as good as any horse we've ever had. I think as he's as better than he was when he went out before the knee injury. You can see how easy he's getting over the race. That was track. easy, yeah. Yes. It was, uh, uh, it was what pretty was good. He All right. Back side. We'll what talk to you later on today, Mr. Roman. Roman. All right, let's get together. Buddy, I don't know. I'm watching it like you are. Why don't we go down here and talk to him, you know?